So then, dear colleagues, I think you have all been waiting for this agenda item. We are ready to stay, start our consideration of item 14, resource mobilization. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm speaking on behalf of UNDP after a number of parties suggested we do so to inform parties on the Biodiversity Finance Initiative or BIOFIN, which is mentioned in the draft decision text on resource mobilization. BIOFIN was conceived in consultation with a number of parties in the wake of CBD COP10 in 2010 to respond to the need for detailed national level baseline analyses regarding biodiversity finance and the need to boost the mobilization of financial resources for parties to achieve the newly adopted IG targets. BIOFIN was launched at COP11 in Hyderabad and now has a total of 15 million US dollars of support from the European Union and the governments of Germany and Switzerland, in addition to 3 million US dollars of co-financing from the Global Environment Facility. So what does BIOFIN do or propose? Fundamentally, the goal is to provide financial and technical assistance to countries for assessing and improving the situation regarding biodiversity finance in a rigorous manner. Firstly, by analyzing the national institutional and policy context, by determining past expenditures in the country, and by calculating the cost of fully implementing national biodiversity strategies and action plans. And secondly, by defining comprehensive and nationally appropriate strategies for resource mobilization that assess all available options, including public and private, traditional and innovative, and national and international sources. And most importantly, by bringing together in the process ministries of environment and those in charge of planning and budget allocation. To this aim, BIOFIN in 2013 and early 2014 developed a new methodological framework called the BIOFIN Workbook, which is currently being piloted in 18 countries. BIOFIN has also assisted the CBD Secretariat in the conduct of a series of regional training workshops on resource mobilization over the course of 2014 and will continue this engagement. Let me emphasize that the implementation of BIOFIN at national level provides flexibility to adapt the approach to national priorities and, and special considerations. For further information, UNDP invites parties to consult the information document on the COP12 website as well as the BIOFIN website under biodiversityfinance.net. Madam Chair, we have seen substantial demand for the work proposed by BIOFIN from many further countries, especially regarding concrete technical assistance and resulting capacity development on resource mobilization. This can be provided by the global UNDP BIOFIN team and at the same time through South-South cooperation which we are also facilitating without, within regions. To close, UNDP invites parties to consider BIOFIN as a constructive way forward on the issue of resource mobilization and to maintain the references to BIOFIN in the decision text. UNDP, UNDP stands ready to assist further parties interested in implementing BIOFIN if the required additional resources can be secured to enable participation by further countries. Indeed, the high-level panel in its first recommendation in the last report proposes an expansion of BIOFIN. Leveraging adequate financial resources for safeguarding biodiversity and ecosystem services is at the heart of our attempts to achieve the CBD IG targets and work towards sustainable development more broadly. Thank you, Madam Chair, for this opportunity.